So much for industry, my friends, and attention to one's own business. But to these, we must add frugality if we would make our industry more certainly successful. These are the words of Ben Franklin, spoken more than 300 years ago in his classic essay, The Way to Wealth. The essay that formed the fundamental inspiration to my eighth book, Doing More with Less. What is this book about? Well, it's about exploring the vital link between our childlike instinct for competitiveness with our adult obligations to address the scarcity of modern needs. In many ways, Franklin was my inspiration because he helped me rethink the vital link between competition and frugality, which are, in the end, the things that determine our freedoms, our fate, and our fortunes. In the second year of writing Doing More With Less, I asked myself, what is wealth? And I began to think of a pebble dropping in a pond. And I thought of wealth as it first relates to yourself, then to your family, then to your friends, then to your neighborhood, then to your firm, and finally as your firm fits in society. And once again, Ben Franklin's work, The Way to Wealth, became instructive to me. Because for me, wealth is the process of not only making and growing and creating and inventing worth, but it's also the act of sharing the benefits of that to all those circles in the concentric circle. How it fixes the issues of family, how it fixes some concerns of your neighborhood, and how it empowers the wings of your firm. Ben Franklin taught me this, and I began to meditate it and write about it, when by the age he was only 42, he developed the second act to his life, the first years from his early teens to 42, was the age of wealth making. And after having created so much wealth, he was then interested in the second half of his life being very inventive, supporting friends who were scientists, supporting neighbors in the idea of a public library, inventing bifocals for those that needed something. And I think that in today's century of seven billion souls, this notion of having multiple stages to your life and of the concentric circle really defines the social aspect of wealth in a form that I call social response capitalism. Consider the lives of those who do more with less, those who thrive on scarcity and limits, folks like Joan of Arc or Gandhi or Abe Lincoln. Why is it that their lives are often more compelling, more interesting than those of billionaires? I believe the answer is because they learned how to be creative in the context of scarcity. They learned what in my new book I talk about as the three R's of reputation, relationships, and revenue. In all cases, the lives of those who do more with less often discover a way to align money, people, and roles in a creative way in which they find many rich relationships, in which they find ways to enhance their reputation and that of their firm, and in ways in which the revenue comes as a kind of social byproduct to the large service of their invention and their work. Doing More With Less attempts to dis explore that nexus of innovation and creativity for today. As a management consultant, you get plenty of opportunities to travel to the mega cities of the world. And maybe partly out of boredom, partly out of sportiveness, I would often ask the taxi driver what they thought of Ben Franklin when I landed in their country. It could be Istanbul, it could be Israel, it could be Sydney. And very often, and sometimes, uh, almost with a kind of NBA-like gesture, the people would say, Ben Franklin, he's our man, he can do it. And that was one of the reasons why I decided to write this book, was that uh, the first global citizen, the first citizen who understood that in a world of seven billion souls, you need to be frugal, inventive, and diplomatic, is Ben Franklin. And despite the great differences between the Middle East, the North and the South, the haves and the have-nots, the principle of doing more with less is a universal truth that he first touched.
And so you begin to realize that he also helps you understand that the true purpose of money is social. It gives the person the freedom to do something of social purpose. And so as we turn the corner to the near future, and as you look to the left and the right and you see those seven billion neighbors of yours, I think it's important to realize that doing more with less is success. Thank you.